Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my natural everyday foundation routine. So to begin, I already prepped my skin by applying my serum, moisturizer, and my primer. Before I apply any foundation, I always start by clipping my hair back. So my foundation of choice is my L'Oreal Lumi foundation, and I absolutely love this foundation because it is lightweight and you can get anywhere from a light to medium coverage with this while still having a really natural glow to your skin. And the brush I use to apply this foundation is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush, and I like to apply it with some Fix Plus. I find that the Fix Plus really helps my foundation to go on a lot easier and smoother and really helps it to blend seamlessly into my skin. The way I apply my foundation is pretty much the same regardless of what brush I'm using. I like to apply my foundation in a stippling motion so I like to pat it into my skin almost as if I was using a beauty blender and once I've patted it into my skin I then proceed to buff it out. I find that the stippling motion really helps me to get the most coverage out of the foundation and then buffing it in really helps it to um, become one with my skin. So I always buff the foundation down to my neck to avoid that foundation line but I also buff my foundation into my hairline. So this is just a close up of how it looks as you can see my imperfections are still peeking through hence the reason why it gives such a natural look to my skin it really allows my skin to still look like my skin just a lot more even. So to help me look more awake I like to apply my concealer which is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45 with a Bedellium Tools 949 face brush. And this foundation brush really helps to pat the concealer into my skin. Um, I typically use my beauty blender for this but if I'm in a rush I will use this brush just to speed up the process it still gives me a really nice natural look. Whatever um, little concealer I have left, I then apply to my chin area, my nose, and my forehead. And here I zoomed out a little bit just so you guys could see more of what I'm doing and you can see the effect um, the concealer really has in helping my face look more awake. Now this is not a process that I do every day at all unless I have a massive pimple that I'd like to cover up but for the sake of this video I wanted to show you guys how I go about covering up my um, uneven skin tone and hyperpigmentation. So I like to use a creamy concealer when covering up my discoloration and hyperpigmentation because I find that it just blends really nicely and seamlessly into the skin which also aids in giving me that natural appearance. So basically to cover up my hyperpigmentation and uneven skin tone, I pretty much just apply the concealer over my problem area and build it up until I can no longer see the issue that I have with my skin. Um, for setting my face, I use my NARS Light Reflect and Setting Powder and when I tell you guys this product is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. So it's a really finely milk powder and it keeps my makeup in place and looking flawless for hours. Like, I'm not even kidding you, your face will go nowhere. And that is pretty much it. I then let my hair down and from here on out, I'm pretty much ready to apply the rest of my makeup or some mascara and be out the door if I'm going for a very minimalistic makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you were able to take something from this and that you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.